possible divorce between Meghan Markle and Harry D. Windsor in this early 2022 they became more and more frequent. The British tabloids had reported rumours that the prince intends to return to England from his family and take his two children with him. Her money changed her and her popularity went to her head. Then he talked about the real possibility that the couple will soon divorce, talking about how Meghan threw away the marriage with her previous husband, Trevor took care of her, he loved her, but Meghan stepped on him and then he gave up. Quickly. Since he moved to America he hasn't smiled anymore. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may have led separate lives, as an American magazine claims, the priority remains their children. They share custody. At least the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on the same page when it comes to their children, reports Life and Style magazine, which is concerned about Meghan Markle's relationship. They would have separate lives. Harry and Meghan are of the opinion to share custody of their children, said a source who decided to confide under the seal of anonymity. When he's out of California, as is often the case lately, she takes care of them, and when she has something to do, he takes care of it. Married for four years, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will always stand together when it comes to their children, Archie and Lilibet. Archie and Lily come first, explains this indiscreet who leaks revelations about the couple's intimacy. They try to stay strong for the kids. The love is still there. But it's going to take some work, maybe marriage therapy. And Harry no longer wants to live in the spotlight. She's fed up with criticism, which is why she hides most of the time. The Sussexes are going through an ordeal, but it's quite normal, it's up to them to learn to manage the downs like any couple. Royal author Penny Juna says Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have now had their decree absolute in their divorce from the monarchy after being stripped of all remaining official roles and duties. And the Sussex's camp has, effectively, given two fingers to the institution in response, she said. On the loss of the couple's royal patronages and Harry's honorary military roles, Ms. Juna told the PA news agency, it does draw a line. It's hurtful but every divorce is hurtful. This is the decree absolute. People lose things in a divorce. They lose pets, they lose houses, they lose children, and there was no way this was going to end well. Regarding the response from the Sussex's spokesperson, who said we can all live a life of service. Service is universal, Ms. Juna added, it sounds petulant. They sound disappointed and hurt, and I can understand that. It's sort of two fingers at the institution, the men and women that run it. I don't think it would be to the Queen because I imagine they think the Queen is being advised, which she is. Several of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's former patronages have thanked the couple for their support following the news they will not be returning as working members of the royal family. Harry and Meghan's honorary military appointments and royal patronages of sporting associations and charities will be returned to the Queen to be redistributed to other royals.